to the laws around surrounding vaping in the UAE. It is honestly insane, Casey. The number of people that habitually vape in this city specifically. And I know people, like, if you ever travel abroad and you go and meet friends, they'll always ask, do you have a vape with you? Are you carrying a vape with you? It's just become... such a norm but anyway um, a lawyer clarifies laws surrounding vaping in the uae so vaping a trend that's taken the world by storm finds itself under the jurisdiction of uae laws that might surprise many with the guidance of a uae-based lawyer Ludmila, uh, Ludmila yamalova here's a breakdown of the web of regulations governing vaping within the uae so for those wondering how vaping stacks up in the uae Ludmila uh, yamalova clarifies that vaping is more or less treated on par with traditional smoking smoking, whether it's e-cigarettes or regular tobacco cigarettes. The rules and regulations are clear, ensuring that public health and safety are at the forefront of UAE's vaping policies. One of the primary uh, restrictions surrounding vaping is the legal age. And let's just clarify that it's not good for you, because I think that's the question that when it was first introduced and the reason it was originally created was that people wanted to look for a healthier alternative. There is no such thing as a healthier alternative to smoking. Do not do it. In the UAE, however, the laws surrounding it are very clear. Individuals must be at least 18 years old to purchase and use these products legally. Uh, This age limit is set to ensure that only adults are engaging in these vaping practices. Laws here go the extra mile to protect minors from the potential health consequences. consequences of passive vaping. The vaping in the presence of a child younger than 18 year old, years old inside a vehicle is also prohibited. So stepping inside a cafe, restaurant or shopping mall, then you should know it's crucial to note that vaping indoors is a no-go. So to bolster public health and safety, specific locations have been marked as no vaping zones. And this includes the following schools or educational institutions, places of worship, health facilities, sports establishments, public transport, including taxis. Then you have malls, shopping centers, cinemas and other entertainment venues. Uh, Furthermore, in a bid to prevent the glamorization and normalization of vaping, UAE law places a strict ban on any form of advertising or promotion of vaping or its related products. The goal is to ensure that individuals, especially the youth, are not influenced by campaigns. This is quite similar to alcohol and smoking. You're not allowed to uh, promote it. While vaping has been marketed as a safer alternative to traditional smoking, it's essential to keep health considerations in mind. And Ludmilla pointed out that the aerosols produced by vaping can contain harmful substances, including nicotine, which can have a range of health Uh, effects negative to you. They can include lung irritation, respiratory, respiratory problems, excuse me, and a heightened sense of nicotine addiction, particularly in young, young individuals. So in the long term, the full scope of health implications related to vaping is still under study with the complete extent of associated risks not yet fully comprehended. And so many times, like time and time again, uh, neurological experts And uh, health experts have warned us of the dangers, uh, especially to like, you know, women and like when they get pregnant and their children and side effects that can carry on with their kids and in their bloodstream. It's so harmful and people do it so, uh, I think, subconsciously now. It's like as soon as you step out of an indoor venue, you're just like, you know, smoking your vape and you do it so often that you just... don't see it now but the long-term side effects can be so bad it's true it's it has really become so commonplace and there is a netflix documentary that i watched part of it and it was traditionally created as a way to you know someone's parent was affected by lung cancer so they wanted to make a healthier alternative but there's no such thing as healthy or mm-hmm. it's either healthy or it's not and vapes are not healthy and i have this definitely not image in my mind of a a girl i know um she's probably about I don't know, maybe she was like 12 or something. And I know that she started vaping in her school and she got kicked out of the school because she was vaping. But she was a, they, were, they were like young teenagers. And it's such vaping. an addiction. It is an addiction. And it was, you know, they've put in these flavors to make it more agreeable yes. to younger. So the kids are smoking these like strawberry stuff. Like they're not good for you. And it's really important for, yes, the laws are there to protect minors. But at the end of the day, If you're a parent, you need to be keenly aware um, that teenagers, it started in America, it became an epidemic and they've been so strict after it became such a a wide use that then they've been really strict on the regulation um, as they have here. Uh, But it's a really scary thing because the last thing you want to do is develop an addiction to that as a teenager. It's so scary. 100%. Like you have full grown adults 
being so addicted to vaping. It's like they, um, like from, okay, fine, like you kind of use it as a medium to get over your addiction with smoking, cigarettes. You get hooked onto vaping and then you're not able to like get off of it because it has nicotine and gives you that, uh, you know, like that feel good factor. And it's just, like you said, like you can't blame teenagers for getting addicted and hooked onto it if grown adults are, you know, not able to control themselves. So it's just a horrible, horrible addiction to have. And like you said, parents just have to be so vigilant as to like what their kids are buying and, you know, keeping in their bags and the company they're keeping. Check the bags. Make sure it's not there. Is that an evasion of privacy? Check their their school bags. bags? No, that's definitely not an evasion of privacy. (laughs) And parents, parents, where are your kids? checking their phones? Phones, that's an I don't know, phones, like, no. Phones, no, that's like their... But you're doing it for their protection. I, I guess, like, if there's something that raises a red flag, yeah. then maybe, but then constantly checking your uh, child's phone, that's, like, a little too extra. Yeah, it's way too extra, I reckon. But... <laughs> you have to have trust. Tip to parents. If your kid goes, like, that pouch, that vape, that doesn't belong to them, and it's their friends... not their friends it's not their friends it's not their friends the friends why do you say that because that's like a, the it's most the easiest used excuse, excuse in the book <laughs> simran gave it to me oh it's simran, simran i'm just keeping it, it for her yeah i didn't want to be there i wanted to go home <laughs> simran made me stay out. yeah casey just uh you know like she left it in my bag she couldn't take it home oh case <laughs> She's you know. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Call her mom. Uh, let's jump into our next story. We're t-